Hi. Um. <laughs> Hi. I don't know if you remember who I am, but I'm Estrella. Are we not gonna roll to VT now or put his dollars all around? Dollar dollar bills, yeah. Dollar dollar bills yeah. on my frequency. You've been staring at me since you walked in the bar. I don't really know how long now. I don't need no fake love, no, I don't need no favor. I'm a my tangle gone, just me and my makeup. Hi guys, um, Hi, welcome back to the Estrella Show. I'm Estrella. Um, I don't even know my own intro. That's how long I haven't been on this flip flipping thing. Like, what's next? Follow me on my social medias, innit? On the, the Instagram, the Snapchat, the TikTok. Just, 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 just look in the bio and you'll see. So, it's been like six months since i last posted on my youtube channel um you know i was gonna make a really dramatic return and um it just never happened so yeah this is um right now the date is the 24th of october and it is the day before the first rehearsals for afrofest 2021 okay I am detailing my journey as a direct I am documenting my journey as as the director, creative director, just the director, just the big boss, the lady in charge L I C get licked down by Lizzie, you know what I mean? I'm joking, get the glizzy, you know what I mean? I'm joking. Um <laughs> I'm documenting my journey as a director of a show for the very first time. Um yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. And if you're watching this and you're considering coming to Warwick, um, you know, it's a good idea. I think you should do that. It's for the future of ACS. But if you guys enjoyed this vlog, um, no, you're not going to get any exclusive stuff. But you're going to kind of see, like, my creative journey. And, yeah. This is my portfolio, even. So, I, BBC Free, you're trying to recruit me, yeah? Mm. I what you need some creative direction for your music video, yeah. I what, listen, one can one can do that still. I can do that. Okay, I'm, so I'm gonna cut now because this is a bit much. <laughs> It's the 26th of October. Yeah, we're gonna stroll and doing things, but don't don't watch the closure. Um, it's the second day of rehearsals. Today we have first fashion rehearsal, second dance rehearsal. Um, they don't tell you the admin that goes behind this. Like, I understand that this is not like a Western production. They're not giving me like a team. Like, I don't have like a team team. Do you know what I mean? But still, the admin is emails whoa it's a bit mad current issue that i'm facing is that a lot of people well there's not even just first years a lot of people first second or whatever um a lot of people signed up sometimes it's hard to sign up and commit to something i understand um i don't think it's nice um but the real issue i'm facing is the gender balance like we really need to like unpack why men just why don't you like doing stuff there's like a good handful like when i say handful like the fingers on my hand of men that are proper proper interested but that's because they're dying for it like they they, they dance they act they act they walk they walk they not to walk the walk for the fashion not to act the act do you know what i mean they speak the speaking word mm. 
but just in general just to show you general interest and to just do it and sign up and maybe get involved is hard and i don't know what is making it that way because real talk if you want like real talk if you want to make friends and socialize rub shoulder with people especially in warwick in term one you do it with afrofest so why is it hard like why is it hard like i shouldn't i, I shouldn't i don't want to force people and it's like for your own benefit i have to force you that's not nice because it's the same people that will be like ah Warwick is so dead, da, 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 da. but you don't want to do anything to change that. So where, wh what happens now? What happens now? Hmm? Aside from that, um, the concept is all. Don't worry, the theme is all well and is all organized. You know, um, it's just nailing down uh, what's it called, like the menial stuff, nailing down like casting because we cast it, but we haven't cast it. Do you know what I mean? So we need to do that. Um, also making sure choir the songs that we're singing is making sense da, 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 da. but um it's real like it's actually real like paperwork has been sent the thing is real like it's actually real and it's making me deep like maybe creative consultancy you know maybe maybe directorial this thing like this is my portfolio anyway so if you want to hire me if you want me to direct your music video just give me money and I know what to do. Not me. Be out here. But until the next time, I will fall about um, those trials and tribulations with Afrofest. Um, bye bye. So I'm back home. Um, no, I'm not doing a house tour. That's so. It's so much. Uh, I'm back home now. Today I went to the first fashion rehearsal, and also the second dance rehearsal. Um, Oh, I forgot to take some rehearsal footage. But yeah, like things are actually starting to add up a little bit. Um, you can tell that the people that are involved actually want to do it. It's not like gun to your head. Do you know what I mean? Like they actually want to do it. And I can tell who, you know, wants to look for agency and wants to start building their portfolio from there. So yeah, like... I really like it and it's re it's really like a family sort of thing because you don't necessarily feel like one person is older than the other or all of that sort of jazz. Like, there's some people that are in these sections that are older than me, more than me, the director. Hopefully by the end of this week-ish, um, we'll get all the running orders, the script finalised and all that jazz. So the month of November is just straight practice i'm just sitting here eating some some biscuits um i might order pizza because it's actually tuesday but i won't get one free bro seven in the morning i think that's ten p.m in the chicken is not out of the love with my belt <laughs> <laughs> hi guys i'm at the drama rehearsal so it's just a little thing oh, you can't with see projections, and obviously when I'm on stage, you want to be in. <laughs> okay, you're million for this private check. Can you please okay, sit down? Just, just my, sit. My daddy will fire the two of you. Just, just, just sit down. I'm not going to make if you don't sit down. sit down. Just sit down and put, put your put mask on, okay? You ain't going to go anywhere. Oh, Does anybody know that if you don't sit, your ass is down. All right? We're going to get you fired. My daddy is fired. We will fun. get you fired. My daddy is fired. Time to set your seat as well. Okay. Just sit down, please. Put your face mask on. All right, get ready to make your face mask on. I'm so sorry, baby. I'm so sorry. 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 I'm so Um, I don't really know what I did in the last clip because as you can see from my eyes, the eye bags, yeah, Balenciaga, the eye bags, Birkin bags, do you know what I mean? It is currently 3.27 a.m. on the 6th of November, 2021. It's a Saturday. There is approximately, what? three saturdays until afrofest and i know that sounds incorrect 
but with killers also i think so when we think about all of these things like i profess is next week and <laughs> Good days on my mind have to take the stress out. They didn't tell you. They didn't tell you. They didn't tell you what the rolling toes. They just said, oh, yeah, you can do it. Like, they just say, oh, yeah, it's just this. And you'll be like, oh, yeah, man can do that. And then you're just in the depths of the darkness at nighttime. And you're just fighting Google documents, bruh. You're just fighting for, you're just fight. you're just fighting stage directions. You're just, you're just fighting SFX. um for context for anybody that wants to be a director next year but um we're at that stage in the creative process where like we know what we're doing yeah like and it's not like to say that we didn't know what we were doing but we know what we're doing now like we know this is what we are going to do and we know that it's real like the thing is real like I, I, like in a in a in a young august you know the thing just felt like it was just fake. Like it was just it was just like a game. It just felt like, yeah. We just start the term, you know, we hop into the thing and we just move on. <laughs> I'm just lucky that I'm entering my reading week. So I can do degree by daytime, Afrofest by night time. Um backstage is such a concept. Like I'll tell you that for free. Like it is a concept. Like it is a hurdle, an obstacle. But one can hop, skip, and then jump over it. Now, I mean, no one says that you have to think about the backstage of life. <laughs> you would think that's just a quick stage manager, just I get a cool person, or just change their makeup. You have to think about it. Because why am I now putting one section before another section when I know that there's somebody that's in the second section but also is in drama, which is obviously the, the, the scene that just went. So then do they change how did they change because now that affects your this now it affects costume in and then now where like these are things like you have to take into account these things and they don't tell you like just just, just fam you, like runners they're called runners for a reason because they're supposed to run but we've just gone through a pandemic i'm not sure about the general fitness of this country so i am ha, ha, how am i supposed to like you, you have you have to put your trust in someone's speed to take the table off in time so that the audience doesn't lose interest because they're trying to put the microphone for the camera choir yeah you need to you need to move like okay bye so evidently someone has attachment issues so you need go back and do the reading for your essay thank you I'm not so big presidential. I told her when the walk set go, but I should have just told her, go set walks. Couldn't be reversed, it makes sense from the start. If you ain't go drive, I can't see where you are. They wanna come look in west, I said, watch the floor. So many tells, and I can't be on shore. Cause this is us now, I will never be alone. I mean, I've Hi guys, um, I haven't done like a healthy update in a long time, so I just thought let me just do that. Um, as you can see, the stress is showing in my face, but it's okay. Um, last week, okay, let's say last week and the week before that, I thought this Afrofest thing was not gonna ban. I thought that was gonna be an issue, like it just wasn't adding up, but it's starting to add up, and that's great. 
um um in my directorial journey i'm starting to understand like the different mediums in which one can tell a story and also the value of perspective because as i said i thought this thing was all in my head but one of the main things about being a creative director is like using what's in front of you to translate what's in your head because if you can't use that perspective to see how this can do that like how the lighting can t tell this and how the lighting can do that then how are you going to expect someone else to get it perspective is needed there's like two weeks to go and then there's Wizkid and then it's just a show so <laughs> ciao I just want to excuse my appearance um it's not nice but this is who i am and i'm not gonna hide who i am um just to give an update in my directorial journey um it's interesting um they didn't tell me that there'll be this much people management required um they just don't tell you it's like we've been a director like i understand why these people are so moody because like is it hard like, if i was steven stillberg me too i would be like me too i'll just look at these act, act, actors and, and this thing and be like is it hard read the script even the script itself is hard i'm telling you being a director is hard it's actually hard so yeah of late i was starting to feel like the fact that i'm an events officer and like the admin side of life was diluting um my ability my creative space to be a director and is in the rehearsal i'm seeing how you dance i'm telling you like this is nice but dance with a little bit more this or do you know what i mean like because i know what dance is doing but dance doesn't know what choir is doing do you know what i mean like I'm like they're aware but they don't get it do you know what I mean? Like, they get it, but do you, do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, the whole point is that you're supposed to direct, like, you're supposed to steer the boat. It's not to say that I am the water and I am the... I don't do engineering, but I'm not the the puddles and the, the turbines turbining the boat through the sea. I'm not saying that's what I am. I'm not supposed to be doing that. I just need to, what's it called? If I can see an iceberg ahead, a man can steer in it like, you know, cool runnings. Let the, let the journey be steady. Um, I'm quite upset though because um, it's the 16th of November. I'm starting to realise that um, time is running out. Can't really be teaching choreo. I've got dress rehearsals this week. Um, the dress rehearsals is even hard. Like, attendance is just hard. But um, especially considering there's also Wizkid Tax as well. Like, there's just so much to be done. And I don't know if anybody realises that it's serious until they embarrass themselves in front of their friends. And that won't be my issue. Um, It will be, but it won't be my issue. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. I think I'm going to insert more rehearsal footage. I think the next rehearsal footage is going to be from the dress rehearsal. Because life. Um, hopefully the next clip of me talking, I'll be really happy. Um, calm. You guys ready? Any questions? Okay. Three, two, one, go. They come full circle. Tell me, what did you know? I've heard this all before. A million stories like this have been told. Me, I'm still mad. Oh, you shouldn't think this way, man, but... 
I guess you've got a lot to be mad about. No, she's right. I trust. It's never gonna get better. Yeah, yeah, let me guess. Not for a nigga like you, right? Past, present, future. So do we need a history lesson or a fast pass to better things? Not Yo, Eddie Waters is doing her part for our community, and we've all got a role to play. We want change to happen. But society's not changed, and they still see us in the exact same position. Wait. I think it's been two weeks, or maybe a week, since I've recorded some footage. Um, one mistake I did make is not record after my first dress rehearsal. My first dress rehearsal was the most interesting thing on earth, but. I have to remember that I'm dealing with uni students and yeah like as much as it's serious it's also like joke like joke so like you have to be careful so timekeeping is more like a co-producer sort of thing but I've also had to take on that role and I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this is that for those of you that watch this that want to come to work or want to be on the exec executive team for ACS um, as I said if I haven't said before as I said before be wary of your exec role as well as you wanting to be director because as it so lies I'm also an events officer so I have to bear in mind that as much as I am directing the creative content of the production I also have to help plan the event so the event itself runs smoothly yeah timekeeping is a very very important job create your timeline um for by which when you want stuff to be done when you need stuff to start being done and it will help and if you ever feel overwhelmed you can literally just pass on that list to someone the first dress rehearsal just made me feel so so worried like that struggle through was so interesting. I mean, that's the first time people realised that they're not on job. Um, so yeah, the dress rehearsal that we had after this, we had a struggle through. So struggle through is literally just when you just go through everything. So I could identify what needs changing. The first dress rehearsal was so interesting because people weren't where they're supposed to be in the dressing room. So callers couldn't call correctly and it was just so long. So yeah. Then the 26th dress rehearsal, that one was interesting. There was definitely a significant improvement, like lines were lining, dance was dancing, but again, like confusion where certain areas didn't know what they were doing, it now delays. So another person will be called and then they'll be waiting outside for no reason. And the way that copyrights are set up, yeah, we can definitely hear you, we'll hear you, we'll hear you in the wings, and that's not nice. Um, I would like to say that. As a director, you direct the show. You do have a say as to when something is not nice and when something is nice. So don't get lost in the source. Like, she say you do have other people that can give you input. And input is always a blessing because perspective is everything. However, um, you don't want the vision of the show to be forsaken at any point because that's just not nice. Like, it's not nice that like, this vision that you have is shared and well understood by your executive team. Because as I said, like, it's actually a lot and depending on your role, um, you'll feel overwhelmed as a result. Like for example, if you're the president and you want to be the director of Afrofest 2, like, wow. <laughs> Your, wow, your vice president has to make also could pick up some stuff. You also need to make sure that, like, you're heard, but also input is there, there. Like, there's a lot to actually unpack, but as a director, I've learned that as long as the vision is shared and understood, everybody will do everything in their power so that vision is actually attained. The stage manager and the production manager are more likely to be the bad cops of any production that you hold just because they want smooth running and also called they're more disciplinary whereas as a director you just you just need people to do what you need like the production manager and all of that sort of stuff 
they uh, the project manager and stage manager have to be strict so that there's still a foundation to be laid for that vision to be attained so yeah i'm gonna talk about myself a little bit so yeah i was really really scared to be a director i think imposter syndrome is something that i battle with a lot and being a director means that as much as I said input is key and all that sort of jazz, you really have to believe in yourself and you really have to trust yourself and back yourself so that whenever you say something, it goes. Um, and it's uh, also called, it's respected. So yeah, being a director was something that I was really scared of doing, but it's made me realize that it's something that I like doing. Like um, creative consultancy is something that, something that i'm really interested in you want someone to help you achieve your dream basically um and that's what it is in most cases that dream is mine um in this case it is mine in my youtube it is mine um you know in my other creative ventures it is mine also called that i need also called executing but more times often than not when you do creative consultancy like you be doing it for other people and it helps you to connect to different demographics of life because each each creative venture each creative thing um you're trying to tell a story um whether it's a music video whatever your story is that you made it from rags to riches to women to the word that i shall not say um then that's the unit <laughs> you would think that the story that the african caribbean black community can only tell is our sorrows, is our deaths, and the statistics. But realistically, should be us too. We're also people. <laughs> we are people, and we also have stories to tell. And the importance is that we, as a community, should stand up and make sure that our story is heard. And not that protesting is like the most important thing in 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 in, in our identity and what's it called blackfist and them ting them the air but it is a powerful tool that we use to let people know that we are here we are present and we are literally that girl that's literally the point that is literally the point of the show like it's a blessing to have been involved in this and it's a blessing to work with the people that i've been working with and i want all the people that i've worked with to know that um <laughs> stop but i want all the people that i've worked with to know that you're all talented people um your hard work is always appreciated your support your determination and your passion is what's going to drag you through life punctuality will always remain key um some some directors are nice i'll support some production managers are nice some stage managers are nice you come late you're doing push-ups um so yeah like there's definitely a lot for you guys to be grateful there's a lot of things i should be grateful for the same way that you guys should be grateful I also wish all of my performers, my cast and crew, the best in life because, oh, this is so emotional, <laughs> this is so emotional, but I never thought that, I never thought I would have made it, but I never thought it would actually come to fruition, but um, yeah, I never thought I would have made it, and I really wish you guys the best because you guys really and truly, some of the talent I've seen, I can see you guys being the next cast of this, the next this of that, so like, yeah really pat yourselves on the back in it but that's a premature message in a bit lads there isn't actually much that one can do like it's literally until i see them all stand on that stage and deep it that i'm gonna think that raw it's the end like i remember like one month for <laughs> it was the beginning of november and i said there's no time <laughs> in the beginning of november did we know the choreo in the beginning of November, we were still choosing songs to sing. Oh my days! <laughs> Listen, um, it's just it's just so nice to see people make friends and stuff like that, and I just like seeing everybody's talent and it's just wow. Well. Okay, guys, I've been very very bad at vlogging, but I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming. coming to say hi. Oh I, no, because I knew oh I was going to come. No, it's a no, 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 no. Do you want to join it? I'm just gonna say hi. Hi. Hi, guys. So this is the director of the best Afro Fest ever. I need this is the stage manager of the best uh, Afro Fest ever. ever. So before we start the show, is there any advice you want to give anyone in the future? Um, because you can't be us, so you've already lost. To be honest, 
don't be afraid to do a little bit of filming. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a tiny little because bit. Because if we had not, we would not be here. We, would, we wouldn't be the best. We wouldn't be here to. No, no, no. We just wouldn't be here. We just wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be here. Wouldn't be here. But, you know, I'm trying not to care. I'm trying not to care. Don't no, come. Because, because guys, guys are so silly. No, guys, minutes. guys, listen, ah! guys this, that, that right there is my sister. And I wouldn't have done this without her. I'm just take that for free. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I'm about to go start the show. This makeup was done by Zayan. Um, Choir is doing their curtain call. Every, but I am going to go start the show. Thank you guys for joining me on this journey. I went from no Cumbre to quick, 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 quick. But yeah. I know you can see the laugh lines in my makeup, but I just feel like, as a mom, you have to ask yourself, why wasn't I a whiz kid? Okay, well, that's a good point. <laughs> as a man, why didn't you get the first day? But anyways, as a man, why weren't you at Afrofest? Just saying. Because if you were at Afrofest, obviously, mom would have seen the makeup when they looked pristine. Obviously, makeup by Z and them thing, them DL. Yeah, I would say, man, I would drop this snap line in the bio. But, yeah, like, <laughs> take some time. Um, I've just gotten back from Afrofest day. As in, we did a tech run through. Um, I don't know if I spoke about it before. We did a tech run through. We did a full dress rehearsal. We we was so good. And the funny thing is, is that like we didn't even gather to pray, pray like that. We just we just kind of said to we, I just kind of give them a pep talk, and everybody in their quiet moment prayed in it. But the Lord was present <laughs> because for a group of people that only knew the tech until the day. And for everything to make sense and be okay, that's just the Lord. That is just the Lord working in my in our midst, and that is a testimony. From that dress rehearsal to getting ready to now, instead of me getting ready myself, doing the chairs, da -da 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 receiving what's it called, receiving people, receiving all the exec, um, putting the food in the right place, da -da 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 -da, the correct calls, doing the show, act one, then act two, still pumping these people, correct, da -da 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 -da, doing curtain call as well. Ah, ah, guys, the exec team, like love and appreciation. Like, you guys know the vibe, like, honestly. Like, guys, they got me celebrations. And then also, they got me flowers. You know, this is the first time I've got flowers from someone. So if you want to start getting me flowers, this is your sign. This is literally your sign to start getting me flowers. In fact, get me a biscuit okay. I like biscuits. A biscuit okay would be nice. You know what I mean? Um, by the way, if you wanted to know, that was the best Afrofest ever. In terms of the content and in terms of the smooth running of a show. So if you want to be a director, just in life, or you want to be a director of Afrofest, you better watch this video. <laughs> well, obviously you watched it because you were hearing it. But you better take some notes from this video because the couple rooms here yeah, they know my face and my name i am the legacy ruin my legacy to go <laughs> you, you, you're finished you're finished okay yeah guys i think the main thing about being a director is to have the vision in your head never to doubt your vision and to do everything that you can to instill that vision and instilling vision isn't just about shouting at people and telling them what to do. Because sometimes telling people what to do doesn't mean they understand why you want them to do it. So as a director, it's your job to make all the people involved in your team to believe in your vision and do everything that they can to achieve that vision with a common goal and a common dream. Because when that dream is achieved, it's actually magic. And that's literally what I experienced today. Like, only by the grace of God, like, that I'm still here. Like, I just thought that I wouldn't make it. If you're wondering what's been consuming my time, it's been this. So, thank you guys for watching this vlog. Um, from a uh, post Afrofest babe, you can even see from my hair. Like, I went through trials and tribulations. You'd, I, you would think that I'd be intoxicated, but I wasn't. Do you know what I mean? You would think that I would not be in my com, but I am in my com. Progression. So, yeah, guys, love and prosperity. I, they, like there's nothing more for me to say like unless you want me to rip off my wig and stress but 
I'm not stressed. I keep it nappy underneath here. I do what makes me happy and nobody can deny me that I'm blessed. And that is the real tea or she for a nigga like me. I profess with no context. Ah, oh, flipping J. I even forgot my outro, like, what is this? Like, if you enjoyed this video, give me a like, comment if you feel cute, share this with your friends, your mates, your mum, your dad, you know, subscribe. I'm just going to say that it's on this side. Please subscribe, become an extra leader so you won't miss out on my post notifications when I post videos. Um, also, follow me on my social media, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, also called Snapchat if you want to. But um, all at the Estrella show. Because you know what? Estrella's ready to show herself to the world again. There was a time where I didn't want to show myself to the world, but I'm back, okay? Playtime is now officially over. <laughs> I don't know, like, I thought, am I supposed to, like, I don't know, like, did I normally just record the bloopers just like that, or, mm. um, I feel like I'm just gonna put, like, random Afrofest nonsense. <laughs>